The XB-70 Valkyrie was an experimental supersonic strategic bomber developed by the United States in the 1960s. Designed in the late 1950s by North American Aviation, NAA, the six-engine Valkyrie was capable of cruising for thousands of miles at Mach 3 Plus while flying at 70,000 feet. At these speeds, it was expected that the B-70 would be practically immune to interceptor aircraft, the only effective weapon against bomber aircraft at the time. The bomber would spend only a brief time over a particular radar station, flying out of its range before the controllers could position their fighters in a suitable location for an interception. Its high speed made the aircraft difficult to see on radar displays, and its high altitude and high speed capabilities could not be matched by any contemporaneous Soviet interceptor or fighter aircraft. Then, why it wasn't built with stealth capabilities. The XB-70 was developed during the height of the Cold War as a strategic bomber. Its primary role was to penetrate enemy airspace at incredibly high speeds and altitudes. During the era in which the XB-70 was conceived, stealth technology was still in its infancy, and the concept of reducing radar visibility had not yet become a design priority. The Valkyrie's design focused on achieving exceptional high-speed performance and efficient supersonic flight. It featured a large delta wing and a distinctive, highly visible profile. Incorporating stealth technology would have required significant design changes, potentially compromising its speed, range, payload capacity, and overall performance. The Valkyrie's primary objective was to outrun and outmaneuver any potential threats. During the development of the XB-70, radar systems were rapidly advancing. The advanced radar systems of that era would have likely been able to detect the Valkyrie, even if it had incorporated some stealth features. The true potential of stealth technology, as we know it today, was still years away from being fully realized. Stealth technology requires extensive research, development, and testing. Implementing stealth features into the XB-70 would have significantly increased the complexity and cost of the program. Moreover, the materials and manufacturing techniques necessary for stealth were not readily available at the time. Considering the already substantial investment in the Valkyrie program, it became impractical to divert resources to develop stealth capabilities. As the Cold War progressed, defense requirements began to shift. Intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, emerged as a more viable and cost-effective means of delivering nuclear payloads. The relevance of high-altitude bombers like the XB-70 started to diminish. This, coupled with the cancellation of the Valkyrie program, redirected focus towards other aircraft designs and technologies, including those incorporating stealth features. That's for now. Thanks for watching.